Astronomers just used JWST to create the world's first map of another planet. Here's how they did it. This method is called eclipse mapping, and it takes advantage of the part of the planet's orbit where it passes behind the star, or secondary eclipse. Astronomers use JWST's infrared spectrograph to study exoplanet WASP-18b while it entered and then left secondary eclipse. By the way, WASP-18b is a type of planet known as a hot Jupiter, and what's special about this one is that it's actively falling into its star. But before it does so, it has a lot to teach us about what hot Jupiters actually really look like. As the planet passes behind the star, longitudinal slices of the surface disappear. If the surface was uniform, the slices would all look the same, but they don't. Tiny changes in the light perceived by JWST spectrograph can actually be reverse engineered into a temperature map. Fun fact, eclipse mapping was actually developed by my research group mate, Ryan Challoner, while we were at University of Michigan. Here's our offices. Hi, Ryan. Anyways, the other thing you can do with the JWST data is break it into different parts of the infrared spectrum. Some of these parts are sensitive to water. Some of them are sensitive to carbon dioxide. So if you stack your observation, what you can actually tell is not just a temperature map, but also how the chemical composition of the planet changes with atmospheric altitude. So this planet, WASP-18b, is not just a hot, doomed ball of gas. It has a distinct day side and a distinct night side. It has a hot spot where the starlight absorbs the strongest and a cool ring around that. There are some layers with water and there are some layers without water. It's a complicated world. In the future, eclipse mapping could help us study smaller and rockier and much more Earth-like planets. But for now, we know that the method works and the science is possible. That's all for today. Keep an eye out for my upcoming book, Cloudy with a Chance of Starship, same book, different title, out summer 26 from Princeton University Press.